If you are looking for data for one specific student, a great place to go is the student summary. Let's go ahead and navigate there together. I'm gonna hover over analytics and go under students to student summary. I know there are times when you need detailed data about one specific student. Maybe you're looking to create IEP goals. Maybe you need data for MTSS. The student summary is a great place to get that. Um, you can see here that I am on one student's data. My student is Bradley Abbott. I can easily switch between students by using the caret to drop down or using the arrows to navigate through my roster. Here I am at Oliver's student summary. You can see at the top of our report, he has growth indicators for math and ELA through the diagnostic. If your students take the diagnostic, they should have data here as well. Notice it's tracked across time. This is from March through September. As I scroll down, I can also see some of Oliver's IXL accomplishments. I can see the number of questions he's answered, the skills he's practiced, how much time he spent, and how much many skills he made progress in. If I want more detailed information, I can scroll down and see different skills where he has practiced. Notice I can see areas where he is has mastered a skill, that means he scored a 100% on the skill, or where he is proficient, so he has a 70 or above in that area. Right now, I'm looking at ELA and math. If you wanted to only have one subject or the other, you can fil filter that at the top under all subjects. Let's go ahead and only look at math. Now you can see I'm only looking at Oliver's math growth, only the areas where he has practiced and learned in math. If I continue to scroll down, I can see his areas where he needs to focus on, places where Oliver could use a little extra support. Notice I can see more of the skills. He's got 29 skills in total that here that he could work on. It also says the number of questions missed for each of those areas. And it has the code here so that you can always have him search for that code so that he knows where he can find that skill. It also gives us some areas of um, his biggest opportunity for growth. Notice in this one it says his biggest opportunity for growth is in fractions. And there's also six suggested skills that he could start working on. If I wanted to print this report to bring to MTSS or to an IEP meeting, I could use this by simply pushing the printer. This would also be an amazing opportunity for us to show our parents what kind of growth their child is making to be used at conference time. Notice the PDF looks, exa looks exactly like what it looked like on the computer. So on the computer, I opened up these skills, so now all the skills are vi visible. Notice on this one, I did not open the skill, so this one is closed. So that's the student summary, a really quick snapshot of your students' growth and data that you can use anytime that you need to make academic decisions for a student.